Hello there, and welcome back to a new video. If it is your first time here, then please consider subscribing. But anyway, today we've got question one from the 2007 British Mathematical Olympiad. Now, I actually did sit the, B the BMO, the British Mathematical Olympiad, in 2022, not 2007. Anyway, so we're trying to find the value of 1 to the power 4 plus 2007 to the power 4 plus 2008 to the power 4, all divided by 1 squared plus 2007 squared plus 2008 squared. And, well, you could technically work out what each of these terms are, work out what 2008 to the power 4 is, 2007 to the power 4 is, add them all up, etc., and then divide. You could do that, but it would take you ages, and there is also a much nicer way of doing it. So what I want us to do is consider, well, what happens in, like, the general case. So we've got these numbers 2007 and 2008, but realistically, those numbers could be anything. And so what we're going to do is we're going to define a variable x. We're going to say, let x equal 2007. Okay, so we're going to like do a substitution, essentially, because if x is 2007, then that means that 2008 is just going to be x plus 1. Okay, so what we can do is we can rewrite our expression here. So we can uh, write it as 1 to the power of 4, which is, of course, just 1, plus, now, 2007 to the power of 4 is just going to be x to the power of 4 now. 2008 to the power of 4, that's just going to be x plus 1 to the power of 4 now. And same on the bottom, 1 squared is 1. 2007 squared, well, that's now going to be x squared. 2008 squared, that's now going to be x plus 1 squared. So let's expand uh, the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to get 1 plus x to the power of 4 plus now expanding x plus 1 to the power of 4 we get uh, using the binomial theorem we get x to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x plus 1 and we are dividing this by 1 plus x squared plus, now x plus 1 squared is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, now collecting like terms, so uh, how many x to the power of 4s do we have in the numerator? Well, we've got two of them, 2x to the power of 4s. Uh, how many x to the power of 3s? We've got 4, so 4x to the power of 3, and so on. We're going to get uh, 6x squared plus 4x, and then plus 2. Same in the denominator, collecting like terms, we get 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. Now, um, we can see we've actually got a factor of 2 here uh, in the numerator and the denominator, denominator that we could cancel out. Okay, now we've got this uh, polynomial division to do. So let's go, and, let's go and do that. Now, normally when we do polynomial long division like this, um, you would typically see it with just a sort of um, a factor out of the front, like x minus 1, for example, like this. Um, however, we've got uh, three terms. We've got x squared plus x plus 1 instead of two terms. And so what we need to do is we sort of need to, like, group them into two terms. So I'm going to group the x squared together, and then I'm going to group the x plus 1 together like this. So we've got two groups, um, essentially. Um, okay, now let's perform polynomial long division. So we're going to be subtracting x to the power of 4, and we have to think, what do we times um, x squared by to get x to the power of 4? Well, we just times by x squared. And then timesing x squared by um, x plus 1, we get uh, x cubed plus x squared. And then doing the subtraction, we're going to get x cubed and then 3x squared minus x squared, so plus 2x squared. And then we can bring the 2x plus 1 down. OK, and then repeat. And we are going to subtract x cubed. And then we go, what do we times x squared by to get x cubed? Well, that's just x. And then timesing x by x plus 1, you get x squared plus x. And then doing that subtraction, that and that cancel, you get um, x squared plus x plus 1. Then we repeat, so we subtract x squared, we go what do we times x squared by to get x squared? Well that's just 1, 
and then 1 times x plus 1 is just x plus 1. So subtracting this, we just get 0, which means we have done it correctly. And this gives us x squared plus x plus 1 as our answer to the division. So this turns into x squared plus x plus 1. Okay. And, well, now this is a lot easier to work out. So we said that x was 2007. So sort of undoing the substitution, we're going to get 2007 squared plus 2007 plus 1. 2007 squared gives you 4 million. Uh, 28,049 at the top of my head, and then you add 2,008, and that gives you 4,030,057, and that is our final answer. I hope you all enjoyed. Please consider subscribing if you are new around here.